it looks like it looks like my guy frank ocean is going around and flipping slapping small youtubers with cease and desist and basically copyright strikes because they're uploading clips on the coachella performance <laughs> honestly this guy might be one of the worst people to ever exist out there in culture especially in music shape of things because he genuinely genuinely hates his fans like for real for real hates his fans so most of you know frank ocean had a horrible um performance over there at coachella he kind of honeyed it the fans it was a big sort of you know welcome back to the scene welcome back to the live circuit type of thing for frank ocean because he'd been mia for a very long time for various reasons that we won't get into but essentially this big coachella performance everybody was really looking forward to oh my god frank ocean is back he's back he's back he's back he finally goes and performs. He turns up, number one, looking like he just rolled out of bed. Um, the performance itself, overall production-wise, was a little bit lackluster. There was last-minute changes. It felt like he went to cancel last minute. And when he finally gets on stage, it's kind of a mix between a DJ set um, uh, and these kind of live renditions of tracks that people wanted to hear just sung the quote-unquote conventional way that he wanted to do in a really different way. And then when it came to doing the second week, he then decided, nah, I'm not doing a second week and dropped out that last minute. And on top of that, he decided against the kind of recommendation of everybody else that he wasn't going to live stream his set. So the one guy who's incredibly recluse doesn't like to engage with his fan base at all and would be coming back to perform live again after many years out refuse to live stream his set despite everybody else that performed at coachella streaming their live set and everyone did it from the bad bunnies to the lincoln parks everybody allowed coachella to stream their set live apart from frank ocean so what did the fans do the fans that love frank ocean the fans that are flipping diehard frank ocean flipping stands decided to go to flipping coachella and live stream his performance some fans were standing there watching him perform for an hour and 20 minutes or however long it was holding their phone in the air with their charge pack in their pocket trying their best to stream a flipping performance of somebody at a festival and again if you've been to a festival you know how shoddy the reception is in festivals doesn't matter where you are and some of them were able to kill him in stream these performances on instagram live on other platforms and maybe some of them recorded the whole things on their phone taking up memory holding their hand in the air just so they can allow other fans who weren't there to experience it and to kind of share in the joy of seeing frank ocean back on stage what does frank ocean do instead of maybe leaving that kind of as it is it's a one-off performance you're never going to revisit it again maybe there's an a24 movie coming out who knows but most of the footage is kind of janky there's some good ones here and there but essentially it's people recording him performing on stage with their flipping phone feeding through the phone speaker the sound's going to be shit the videos aren't going to be that great whatever right just leave it as it is no he decides as you can see via this um screenshot taken from a youtube a youtuber who has a youtuber that goes by carl who uploaded quite a few performances or clips of frank ocean performing and a lot of them got a lot of views and they just generally you know were very well received because people got to see what he kind of sounded like on stage what the visuals were like and kind of got an impression of what the show was like overall frank has gone down and basically decided to slap this channel with copy strikes to the point where the channel's now been disabled this is a this is a screenshot taken from an email that was sent to this youtuber called carl and it says due to multiple copyright strikes associated with the videos below your youtube account has now been disabled frank is getting huge french frank is getting his own fans youtube channel struck and down <laughs> and disabled because they dare to upload clips of him performing at Coachella legitimately incredible how much flipping disdain he has for his fans I get artistically maybe not wanting your show to be live streamed by Coachella because you want to be have it filmed a certain way I mentioned A24 before because some fans were speculating that Frank um, I think maybe previously had been announced that he signed a deal with A24 and they were going to put together some sort of live performance thing and that most likely he was filming it himself with his own cameras because there were some cameras on stage there and maybe those cameras were what they were going to use for the footage that was going to be sold as a DVD which is really heinous everyone performed live but Frank was just going to record his not have it live streamed and then sell it to his fans <laughs> it's incredible and most likely the physical version of it won't won't shit for like 17 weeks right crazy guy but regardless you just think he would kind of as a give back to his fans be like you know what 
I appreciate you guys and I fucked up. I wasn't in the mood. So here's this do, do what you want with the clips kind of like have a kind of a hands off approach on it. But no, nah, he's getting channels taken down. It's not even like he's trying to get all the kind of um, what you call it, all the AdSense from it. No, he's getting the videos removed from YouTube. He's getting channels disabled. Whole crazy thing. But it made me think about a couple of stories I've seen online and one specifically from Erica Badu where I think she said something like, oh, I think I saw Frank Ocean in a car park after Coachella skateboarding, right? And this, I think, was after his first performance. The same performance that his team came out and said, oh, Frank Ocean broke his ankle. That's why he couldn't perform well, <laughs> right? Um, and Erica Badu said he was skateboarding and he had, he, knew, he was like, she, I think she said something in the, in the, in the caption, skateboarding with not a care in the world so that's what he was doing right skateboarding with not a care in the flipping world right and then of course i'm hearing accounts from other people who were there who were saying that behind the scenes in the vip area frank was just chill hanging out having a good time not bothered and just chilling like after after legitimately after that first performance where he just did shit he was at the back and people were saying that he legitimately, you couldn't tell that he had a shit performance because he just didn't care. I've generally thought that anyway. And I don't think it comes from malice. I just think he's just that kind of personality. And I think maybe that's what his fans kind of like. This sort of like disdain and detachment from the real world is what the fans like because he is kind of rare in that sort of space. He never explains himself. Because a lot of these kind of controversial artists that are like this, who kind of have a weird relationship with their fans, they sometimes can be a bit combative with their fans online. They can maybe ridicule them, say things in press conferences or in interviews, and just generally kind of be a bit of a you know shit stirrer. But this guy doesn't do that. Frank hardly speaks, if ever. The only time we've heard him speak is maybe on stage or on little skits and interludes on these tracks and whatnot, or via some warp text on a magazine. But he never really speaks. So he does what he does. He moves how he moves, and he doesn't say a word. Like, and that's boss because all these fans crying and complaining myself included if he decides to do a flipping one-off set somewhere amazing we're all gonna be there we're all gonna buy tickets i know i will so we're all kind of full of shit really <laughs> but i quickly want to play this clip here this features frank ocean solo at coachella that features some footage of it and again for me it was a reminder that there was potential in this show of this performance i feel like if he actually cared, he could have delivered a good show because visually, I think this is pretty impressive the way he did it, where he had all these hardware pieces installed around the stage. And I think there was meant to be a flipping ice rink there and whatnot. But just from what we can see here on the screen, we've got this amazing kind of, you know, really wide um, screen here, three screens put together to create this really massive, long rectangular shape of a screen. And then essentially all these cameramen around taking these close up video footage of these guys on the machines and whatnot, or these pieces of hardware, you know, these really analog sort of like tactile pieces of music equipment and they're all zooming into it and those are popping up on the screen and video clips of flipping Frank singing. I feel that kind of level of performance, it kind of helps to make it you know, even though Frank, you know, even though flipping Coachella is a really commercial event, it kind of helps to make it feel small, tight, intimate. It's really interesting. But anyway, this is a clip um, Frank Coachella performing solo at Coachella. Hit solo, one time. We too loud and call it, then down and punch it. I'll be outside, the time is perfect. I can tell you, they'll tell you how much I vibe with you. We don't gotta be so low. I stay away from highways, my eyes like a red light. Right now, I'm for you, red bone, so mellow, fuck around, be cutting you. Think we were better off alone. I got the act right in the windy city at night No trees to blow through, but blow me I don't feel too grand for sunrise So, bro, so, so low So low So low So low But you can't deny, if that was actually done well The show would have been fucking amazing But he didn't care He just turned up, went through the motions Barely sung and it went shit and he had that dj playing as well that kind of ruined it whatever it may be but if frank actually wanted to put on a fucking performance he could have smashed it to pieces legit if he imagine him doing five dates or five shows of this right 
in a row these intimate type of shows with this screen there with these amazing synths on the flipping stage and whatnot it'd be amazing right just imagine how amazing it'd be but he chooses not to <laughs> which is really funny like he could do amazing he could feed his fans but he's like nah fuck the fans <laughs> fuck them. i do what i want i do what i want when i want you kind of have to respect it you really do have to respect it in this era that we live in at the moment where everyone's kind of falling over themselves myself included to sort of appease and satisfy their audience there's these elite level flipping artist and creative out there who really influence culture in a really meaningful way who are basically the favorites of some of your favorites who really move to the beat of their own drum people say that a lot it's a kind of overused term but frank for sure moves to the beat of his own drum and if he's not feeling it he's not feeling it doesn't care if he's getting paid and that's the thing sometimes about him as well that i kind of have to appreciate he he got paid a lot of money allegedly they're they're, they're saying it's anywhere between like one million and four million obviously if you're coachella and you're smart enough the people that probably put that show together there are something involves your contract especially with it being two weekends where if you don't show up to the second weekend you don't get a second half of your payment so i'm sure whatever you know millions you're meant to get you'll probably get half because you only performed for one weekend fair but it clearly shows frank ocean can't be bought he cannot be bought doesn't matter how much money you offer him if he's not in the mood he's not going to do it and coachella was probably the biggest you know re example of it like the most commercial example of it like they pay money they pay well i'd assume and um, it's in la you'd imagine all his fans you'd imagine if there's one place you'd imagine frank ocean's fans would be it's la and he still was like nah i'm cool i'm good love enjoy on some frank ocean tip i have to rate it it's impossible not to rate that <laughs>